What's the weirdest thing you've ever done in your sleep and how did you find out about it? My brother once said I call her Vanilla Vanny. She's so boring. I love her though. That last bit was said in an almost emotional voice. He is now engaged to a girl named Vanessa. When I was on Ambien I climbed in the car and put the keys in the ignition before my BF woke up and stopped me. I don't know if I was asleep or what, but I remember nothing except him shaking me as I sat in the car with the engine running. I woke up one morning when I was around 20 to look in the mirror and see that I had lined all my stuffed animals up on the headboard of my bed, scared the crap out of me for a second, then I laughed. Then I got rid of half of them the next day. I have PTSD CPTSD which results in wild night terrors. I often attack myself including punching teeth out. The worst is waking up on the kitchen floor with a knife in my hand and covered in blood having tried to cut a foot off. I have a history of sleep waking talking. On Christmas Eve I fell asleep in the family room, suddenly sat up, and announced to the family sex with my first BF was far superior to sex with the second both exes, at that point. My mom didn't tell me until years later, after she had randomly invited my first BFS family for dinner and successfully gotten us back together. Now I know why my dad looked so uncomfortable that Christmas. Supposedly supposedly I said no mom, you owe me three more kisses. And made a kissy face. Per my douchey roommate. I used to sleep with my landline phone right behind my head. One day I woke up, came down for breakfast, and my mother said did you make a bunch of phone calls last night? I d had a dream that I was in a phone booth and couldn't remember the number I needed to call, so I just dialed random numbers. Apparently in real life I was actually calling the same guy over and over again and leaving him really weird garbled messages. Texted my manager to call out of work for a wedding. I was not scheduled that day nor had a wedding to attend. Another one, my daughter will sleep with her eyes open and have full-on conversations. I've seen her do this several times and recognize the difference. When she was giving birth, she was so exhausted she fell asleep, but with her eyes open. The doctor came in to give her a bunch of info, and she was responding to him correctly but sound asleep. I told him she was asleep and wouldn't remember a thing he said, and he looked at me like I was out of my mind. A nurse realized I was right and wrote down what he was saying to update her when she woke, which she finally did about 10 minutes later with no recollection of the doctor at all. Morning, everyone told me that I was standing in front of our refrigerator. Maybe I was hungry that time. I used to sleepwalk, up and down the stairs everything. I bought a couple of large brass bells and hung them from my bedroom door knob, and used the rope to loop the other door handle and keep the door closed. I thought that if I tried to open the door, even if I somehow untied it, the sound of the bells should woken me up. Nope. Didn't even slow sleep me down. I also used to wake up, standing up. My knees bend a little, and my body kind of slouches down, and it balances itself enough that I can actually sleep while I'm standing up. It's not something I could do on purpose, but it's what my body has done on its own. It makes my body kind of sway, and almost sway a tiny bit in a circle. Once, I woke up because something was burning the inside of my mouth. I had some hand sanitizer at my bedside. Unfortunately, I had picked it up and started pumping it into my mouth while I was asleep. Ugh. Unpleasant experience. I have so many stories like this. Sleep has been an elusive friend to me. I cooked beans in the pressure cooker with full seasoning, meat, veggies, and it tasted good. I have dreams and I wake up and they feel like they were my actual life, and I can't tell the difference between the dream and reality sometimes. And most of the time it goes away within a few hours of waking up, but occasionally something will occur that spurs a dream memory and I'm reminded again of the weird situations I dreamed of and it does take me a moment to sort out the reality. If I laugh hard in my sleep, I laugh out loud and wake myself up laughing. I don't have any memory of this but my partner tells the story. I went out for drinks one night, stumbled home safely and went to bed. That's where my memory ends. My partner. However, tells the story of when he was in the middle of a game of League of Legends when he saw butt naked me sleepwalk straight out the front door into the halls of our third floor apartment building. He threw his headset off and ran after me. I got all the way down to the end of the hall and as he was trying to coax me home I kept saying I have to pee. And he would go yes. He'll take you to the bathroom just turn around. After what was apparently a difficult fight he got me home, sat me down on the toilet, and he said I looked him right in the eye and said I would've made it. I cannot imagine if a neighbor had come out or even worse, if my partner wasn't there to rescue me. Would I have peed on the hallway? You'll never know. I had a roommate claim she sleepwalked her way into a male roommate's bedroom and sleep blowed him. No one believes her. Crashed over a mate's house and ended up in a double bed with a male friend I'm male. He had to wake me up because I started humping spooning him. 
Guess I was having a good dream. The strange benefit of this is if we ever crash round someone's house I am usually guaranteed a double bed by myself, as my mates don't want to be spooned. I dreamed that I looked over at my then husband's chest, and saw a sheet of the Elvis stamps appearing in the sweat on it. Still asleep, I grabbed a nearby towel and started pawing at him to get the stamps to take to my friend, an Elvis enthusiast. He woke up to me shoving him down and insisting he lie still so I could collect the magical sweat stamps. I think I have two. Asleep and cried and told husband that I'm okay. I drank the sad bitch juice white claw on top of many other drinks. Said I smoked weed. SDFU or ill do more. He hadn't even asked. Told me about both the respective mornings after. I was around 10 years old. Went to the bathroom and I was mumbling something when my sister found me. She asked what I was doing and I told her I was throwing away leftover food. I had nothing in my hands. Turns out I was taking a piss next to the laundry machine.